back to the channel. This is a uh, Metal Marty Mac back with another, uh, hopefully a short update. This is a uh, part two of a uh, Svart collection. So uh, I did a previous video of, of stuff I bought from Svart Records in Finland uh, a while back. I can't remember; it's a good long time ago. So I just want to show you what else I got from Svart that time. There's one or two editions, but most of it is back from months ago. So I've been it's been sitting around in my inbox for a long time. So there's a bit of everything in this. There's a bit of heavy metal. There's a bit of doom metal. There's a bit of trash metal, and then there's some death metal as well. So uh, there's quite a few records, could be nine records, so I'm not going to dwell on them, I'm just going to fucking piss through them. I'm not going to keep this so 10, 12 minutes, look up there, yeah, about 10 minutes or so, I'm going to get them done. Okay, so first up, uh, I don't know if anybody's bought on Spark Records, but they've got a great sales section in it. Uh, they're also a distro, there's some good stuff on it, I bought some um, more got stuff on it, that'll be in my next video, from Get Metal Update. But um, they've got a great sales section from CDs and uh, records, so there's one or two in here I bought. Just on the off chance because there were like four or five euros for an LP, so you couldn't you couldn't really say no. So so the first one is one of those. It's a cheap one. So this is called SP Metal Two. So this is uh, Sao Paulo Metal. So this is Brazilian heavy metal. Um, so this is a this is a what do they call a split between four bands. There was a previous one with some other bands on, like Avenger or some other better known bands. Now these bands I didn't know. I'll tell you the names of the bands. So uh, the first one is San. Chuario, can't pronounce his fucking uh, Corsos, Abutre, and um, Performances. Four bands. I'll, I'll, I'll hold it up as close as I can, maybe you can see the writing on it, because I can't pronounce it word of shit. But uh, yeah, these these are all bands that's based around uh, Sao Paulo. This was in 1985, I believe, most of these bands were out. So this came out in Spark Records, I'm not sure what year. So as I say, there's two, there's two songs, it's a black vinyl Spark label. There's two songs on each of each band on it. Uh, is this uh, an inner? No, this is just the uh, inner. It came with it with lyrics. Lyrics in both. Uh, is it Spanish or Portuguese? I'm not sure. Uh, and a little, tiny little bit of history about the band. So, um, so how is this? Honestly, it was okay. There's there's only one band out of the four that I would, if I had to listen to it again, I, I would. So this this is not great. It was cheap, so it's not so. It's not a big fucking deal, like you know. But um, the best, the only band that I really liked on it were Santuario, S A N T T U A R I O. Uh, hopefully, uh, Christian maybe will help me out with the pronunciation of that. But um, that's them there. The more traditional 1985 heavy metal. Some of the other ones are a bit AOR y, some is a bit doomy, but it just didn't, they didn't click with me, if you know what I mean. So that was SP. I don't think I'll even bother buying SP1. That might just. Uh, leave my collection and a VCLT sometime with someone that's into old uh, 80s heavy metal, which we are like, but it's just not for me. Okay, up next, quickly, uh, three albums by the one band. You might have seen these on Nathan's video recently, Nathan Metal Down Under. I sent them off two of these in the VCLT. So this is some Finnish, excuse me, sniff, uh, some Finnish um, folk metal. I'm looking at my notes, there's a lot of notes, a lot of records. Uh, so this is um, from 2004, the first album. So this is Taurusas, that's why I'm pronouncing it. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. A lot of people are pronouncing it differently. So I was just saying Taurusas. So this is the first album from uh, 2004, Battle Metal. Uh, Smart Records did a lovely job on these. So these these are folk power or uh, power metal, symphonic metal, all kind of mixed in together. These are on a kind of blood red vinyl. Hope you can see that. Now they're all on the same coloured vinyl, so I'm not going to show you the inner, inners of all of them again. You can see them on Nathan's video if you wish. Uh, so you've got the lyrics inside, but uh, yeah, Svart do a nice uh, matte finish, really nice collection. So yeah, so Taurus has, I believe, the four albums out, the album out in 2013, which I didn't get yet, but I will source it. Uh, so that was their first album. Their next album was The Frangian Way. Uh, I'm not going to take it out of the plastic, because it's, it's very similar inside. There's pictures of the band, there's lyrics, and uh, that's about it. So it says, uh, remastered edition includes later notes, poster. Uh, after Battle War Paint Edition, that's the colour of the red, After Battle. So uh, yeah, more uh, folk metal goodness from Finland. Really good, some really good catchy stuff on it. Uh, great instrumentation, you've got a load of traditional instruments like bagpipes and illum pipes and uh, all, all the, the, whole, the whole fucking range of uh, folk uh, musical instruments, so it's pretty good. And then uh, this was their 2011 album, Stand Up and Fight. Uh, another great album, some great catchy songs, and this is this probably my favourite out of the three. Uh, you've got uh, the March of the Varangian Guard on it, Stand Up and Fight. There's an instrumental on it, it's written in, could be Finnish or something, I don't know, but it's, it's really cool as well. But yeah, Taurus asked, if you like folk metal, like uh, Enzo or 
as that elevate, 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 whatever to pronounce that shit as well. Um, yeah, good stuff. So I enjoyed those three albums, and I hope Nathan did too. I know he liked the first one, so that's good stuff. Okay, up next, this is a an album or an EP I, I did f uh, feature on the last Spark video. I had it on, uh, I bought it on CD, and I'd listened to it digitally, so I sent the CD off to Kim, and this is music, and I think he enjoyed it. So uh, this was really cheap as well. Uh, so this is Witch Mountain. And this is their EP from uh, I'm looking for a day 2012. So this is uh this is Doom heavy old school heavy Doom from the United States. These guys are uh, lyrics inside. So it's a five track, five track uh, EP. A couple of the songs are short, and so there's a song of 14 minutes on as well. Night Hawk, the last one. So a uh, female vocalist. Um, what's her name? Kayla Dixon, very good vocalist. Uh, as I said in the previous video. Uh, I bought this, this was cheap, I know I had it on CD, but just when you see a cheap final, I'll pick it up, like, you know, uh, I don't know if this lady's still with the band or not, I think, they've had a good lot of releases out since, I don't think she's still with the band, but I could be wrong, but uh, yeah, it remind me a bit of King Witch, uh, from Scotland, uh, but I think, uh, is it Laura, I think she's a much better singer, I think it's Laura, something like that, but yeah, they're, they're very like them, so it's, it's uh, old school, doomy, slow, heavy metal, like with uh, female vocalists, it's, it, it's good. It's, it's good, it's, it's, a, it's a five track EP, I can listen to it, no problem. So it's pretty good. Okay, up next is some water. Okay, up next is another album that I got for about four euros, I think. Now this, this is a, just a, uh, a blind buy again. So this is Trash Metal, Trash Speed. These guys are from the United States, Don Spar. Uh, this album came out in <clears throat> These guys are actually from Canada. Feast Your Eyes 2019. It's their second album. So this is Arsenal. Uh, Arsenal. Arsenal. I was just going by Arsenal, the football team, and putting a W on it. So Arsenal. Arsenal. So this is, anyway, this is Feast Your Eyes in 2019. Uh, this is down as trash metal. It's trashy, speedy metal. Kind of deck trash vocals on it. Uh, so what did I really think about this album? I just listened to this again this morning. It's far too brilliant jobs on these. Uh, this this is okay. I'm not a major fan of it. And I've listened to it about four or five times. It's the sort of album I put on in the background and, and do stuff with it. Uh, it's fast, it's trashy, it's punky guitars in it. I think I've heard the same riff in the album throughout the whole fucking album. Um, it's very, very hard for me it was to find it. To actually to know what track it was on, like, you know, unless the, he said something in the lyrics, but, um, yeah, it's okay, they definitely can play, but the songs aren't just catchy enough for me, so, um, but as I say, for four or five euros, I wasn't going to complain, so Warsenal, Warsenal, they're from Quebec or somewhere like that, but, um, not a fan, I'm afraid, uh, it's just, they didn't, the songs weren't catchy enough for me, they just didn't do it, and um, so, um, yeah, anybody has heard that, uh, let me know, anybody that has listened to it digitally, and, they're not too far from me would like this i'll send it to you or else it'll be in somebody else's vclt but uh yeah it's just it's just not for me i don't think i'll, I'll definitely not be keeping it on here so that's feast your eyes warsenal warsenal stupid name uh, okay up next is from an album from 2011. this is an album that just uh artwork uh caught my eye didn't know anything about the band looked into them it's a step metal super group apparently so this uh this is in the Flesh, 2011, this is Nader Sadik. Nader Sadik, is that the name? So this is a guy, an artist, Egyptian-American artist who uh, done loads of work on movies and uh, music videos. He done some Morbid Angel videos and all that sort of thing. So he's more of an artist. He done the artwork on this, which is pretty cool. There's a nice uh, bit in there as well, which is pretty cool. So this is a death metal super group that he's put together for people from other bands on this. So. Uh, Rune Erickson from Family of Mayhem is on this. He was with Mayhem for a while. Uh, what else can I say? This is nine tracks. This is this is fantastic. This is the only album they put out as far as, far as I know. The the Sadek guy, he he's done some lyrics and stuff on this. But um, I believe uh, I don't I don't see their name mentioned on this. Uh, what's your man's name? Travis Travis Ryan, Cattle Decapitation. He's on this as well. This is fantastic though. This is really really good. Um, it's technical death metal, great vocalist. Uh, this, the whole second side, there's three songs in the second side, it's just fan fucking fantastic. The first side's great, but the second side is just amazing. So, um, 
yeah, this is definitely one to try out if you haven't heard it. It's, it's, it's technical death metal. And uh, it's very good. I really, really enjoyed this album. This was another cheap one as well. As far as some really good cheap records, so that's definitely worth picking out. And I noticed this morning that's on Amazon for about 22 euros. So we about 18 quid, is it? If anybody's looking for a copy of it, now it's time to grab it. Definitely worth getting, since it's the one and done album, I believe. Yeah, but he's a Glenn Benton play with them and loads of other crazy people on the, on the death metal scene play with them as well. It's pretty good. Okay, and last up, you'll be glad to hear. This is the debut album of 1991 by Finnish death metal band. This is awesome. I love this. I'll tell you the problem with the edition I bought. But um, yeah, so this is Convulse. Take the plastic off. So this is a World Without God, Convulse's debut album. Yeah, fantastic album. I was always dying to get this and I, just, I had this on picture disc. So um, I, I see the fucking um, just green vinyl, uh, double vinyl of it around. I'm going to have to buy it. Uh, as I say, picture disc. It's nice that it's in an actual cardboard 12 inch sleeve as well. But uh, yeah, old school Finnish death metal debut. This is brilliant. This is on a picture disc, so I'm just going to show you that quickly. Um, it's pretty, it's it's nice. Uh, it's pretty. Uh, cool picture of the band. Band look like fucking kids, man. So this is 1991 Convulsive debut album. Great band, great old school death metal, old school Finnish. Uh, unlike most uh, modern uh, picture discs that's gone flying modern picture discs there is noise on this it's a bit noisy it's a noisy between songs i thought it might have been special effects or something on the album but it's actually just noise so i might reconsider and i might actually buy the the double vinyl because i do want that so i'm trying to collect all debut albums of, of death metal bands i'm a good lot at this stage i might do a video soon of that too my favorite uh, death metal debuts but uh that's that's this is this is a great album but again 10 tracks, uh, fantastic. There's an intro on it as well, there's an yeah, introduction. But uh, really, really good old school death metal from 1991. Uh, yeah, a bit disappointed I bought the picture of this, but I was just so eager to get it. I just didn't think about it. It's, it's fine, it's not that noisy, but I'm just an awkward bastard, so I'm gonna probably pick up the regular vinyl. That's it, guys. I hope that wasn't too long. Oh, in the background, we we're listening to some more Smart Records. We we're listening to uh, Demelik. What's this called? 25th anniversary of emptiness. The Demelik CD. Uh, I think I put that up in my last last smart video as well. Fantastic album if you haven't. Nest fight, nest fight, nest fight. If you haven't got it, uh, you need it. But uh, yeah, so I'm listening to there. Uh, so that's it for Spark for a while. Any, I haven't done an order with them since, but I might get back on and see if there's any good deals on it because they have some good records Spark. So uh, that's it, guys. Um, have a great weekend, and I will see you all next. There's definitely going to be a death metal update next because I've got some good death metal in. So that's it, uh, take care and um, I'll see you all soon, cheers.